less eyes more lips hey guys how are you doing welcome i hope you guys are doing well today's makeup look is quite different if you're new here hi i would like to welcome you in my name is juliana you can call me julie and welcome to the game This makeup look is very simple and complicated. Also, I'm going to share with you my skincare routine that I always do whenever I want to glam up. So we're going to prep our skin. After washing my skin, I love double cleansing. I love using the Real Sika Micellar Cleansing Water from Neogen. And then next off, we're going to use the Beauty Water from Sun and Parks. This is a good mild exfoliator cleanser moisturizer essence and then next we're going to use the secret key this is a treatment essence that is packed with galactomyces good for brightening your skin hydration and then next we're going to use the holy hydration this is a moisturizer that packed with hyaluronic acid and peptides i know it's excessive but literally i do this in no time off camera next up we're going to use an eye cream from elf and this is their 5mg cbd eye cream a very soothing and reviving to your under eye and also don't forget your lips what i love to use is the one from charlotte tilbury and this is the collagen bath the next two steps are optional i love using this two steps if i really need to do a full glam if i have an event yeah i just wanted to share with you my ultimate sheet mask you can get this from sofa glam or amazon i love using the apu hyaluron if you are like me that you want to sheet mask yourself at night or any time of the day this is it this is only 18 dollars that comes with 32 sheet masks and it comes with this tongue for hygiene purposes it is packed with hyaluronic acid and this is an optional as well i got this from target this is only two dollars from vita mask i'm going to wear this for the next five to ten minutes okay this is ten minutes and then next up we're going to protect our skin using an spf 50 from super goo for my eye don't forget your under eye and this is the only sunscreen protection that i've tested that is so gentle on my under eye and on my eyelid and this is the neutrogena sheer sink mineral sunscreen stick brows are done as always just to save some time i did my brows off camera and we're going to move on with our complexion makeup and since the skin is already prepped to mattify our t-zone we're going to use the hard candy sheer and the pour defense a primer we're going to neutralize our under eye i'm going to use magic concealer from charlotte tilbury we're going to use our finger best tools ever and you're just going to put that on our under eye this is a good neutralizer on any skin discoloration pigmentation this is a quick fix this is another one that i love using is the flower beauty for minimizing primer this is not only a primer but this is also a neutralizer so just in case if you don't have this you can use any primer that has green color prepping my under eye and my eyelid make sure that any discoloration minimize and that's done and we're going to move on with a foundation so this time we're going to use the Estee Lauder double wear sheer long wear makeup and this has spf 19 and i'm using the shade 2n1 recently bought this i've been using it for at least one week now continuously this is so good if you want to have a no makeup makeup look that lasts a long time it is so good and don't forget your neck okay for concealer we're going to use the newly launched abh magic touch concealer and i am in shade number five this is good for discoloration brightening your under eye hydration medium to full coverage it's a blurring that blends smoothly without even creasing on and we're going to put the extra product on our eyelid and whatever the excess use your sponge i'm using a dry sponge pressing the product on my skin 
Okay, next up, we're going to do a light contour. We're going to use the Ella Luce Stick Bronzer with Camu Camu. And I'm using the medium shade, aka Super Yummy. I'm just gonna apply this directly on my face. And we're going to play it around with this new makeup brushes from Murphy. This is the collaboration with Ariel. Ariel. First, use the contour brush and blend the product. Oh my goodness, this is so soft. What I understand this is, this is a limited product. And then for my blush, I'm going to use the Cushion Tint from McQueen New York. I love this shade. A little goes a long way. This is so pigmented. Put a little, just two dots to three dots. Use my fingers to blend it out. I'm a left-handed person. If I'm using my hands as my makeup tool, the strength is on my left hand. Love this. This is only $6. I got this from Yes Styles. Okay, to set our face, we're going to use a sheer powder from MAC Cosmetics. And this is their Press Black Powder. And I'm using the shade Medium. And we're going to use the brush number 32 from Ariel. And we're just going to press the brush, set our T-zone just like that. I'm going to use the small brush. This is the brush number 14 to set my eyelid. To set our cream contour, we're going to use a press bronzing powder from Charlotte Tilbury just to give some color. And we're going back in with a brush number 32. Okay, next up, we're going to do some blush. A little goes a long way. We're going to use a blush powder just to enhance our cheeks to pump up our cheek color. And we're going to use the Lottie Blush Crush. This is a multitasking brush and this is the brush A21. And then use your finger if you put too much. And then for highlight, we're going back in with Charlotte Tilbury Highlight and Bronze Duo. And we're going to use this highlighting brush. I'm going to pinch the brush and put a little on my eyelid because we're not going to use any eyeshadow product this time. And then I put a little on your nose and then your cupid's bow. Okay, next up, we're going to create a mini wing just to prep our eyelid for lashes, which I always love. I am a fan of artificial lashes or false lashes, and I'm using the Koki Cosmetics Longwear Liquid Eyeliner. So what I like about this is this is a quick drying liquid liner, and it's very forgiving. I love the applicator. It's very tiny. It's very easy to maneuver. Okay, we're going to do some mascara. I'm putting on a coat or two of mascara just to prep my lashes for falsies. So I just wanted to give a shout out to a new friend of mine, the one from Beauty Avenue. And they have this humongous choices collection of lashes that is only $2.99. I'm going to put their link on the description down below. Their products are extremely inexpensive. So yes, I'm going to use their HD Foam Ink in style 27. I'm going to pop this on and I'll be right back. Lashes are up. Moving on with lower lashes. I'm going back in with Charlotte and we're using the brush number 18. We're just gonna wet this using our setting spray from Milani and apply that on our lower lash line. I'm going to use a brown eyeliner but I'm not going to use the liner directly on my eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the product the back of my hand and then I'm going in with the dual brush from Ariel and this is the brush number 19. His brushes are so soft. 
it's quite pricey but it reminds me of the wrapper we're going to blend the product apply this on our outer corner and i'm going to use the same way on the other eye we're going to move on with our lips and we're going to use the by terry rouge expert click stick and this is a red lipstick this is a very hydrating that's the color there's a little orange undertone but basically this is just a classic red lipstick make sure to set your face and finally if you are not comfortable in full blast red lips you can always use a neutral or nude lipstick you can always put that on the center of your lips just like this and you're all set and this is our finished look i hope you like it and if you did please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already i would love to invite you to please come join the game by hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell to get notified on all my video uploads thank you so much for hanging out with me i love you all i'll see you in my next video mm -hmm.